Here's 10 unbelievably simple ways construction contractors and construction managers can start using AI tools today to help you win more work and deliver it profitably. Number one is AI generated meeting minutes. Meeting minutes is one of those things we all know we need to do, but we never end up doing because we always have more important stuff to do. You can use a tool like Firefly's AI, connect it to your Zoom account or Microsoft Teams account, and it'll auto generate meeting minutes that'll help you resolve disputes with your clients and subcontractors, clarify scope and manage actions with your team. Number two is to help you with your construction estimating. You can prompt large language models like Claude or ChatGBT with your project's context to summarize tender documentation, prepare a budget estimate, create a work breakdown structure or task list, document your assumptions and qualifications, or error check and review your estimate. As an example, using Claude, the Anthropic large language models, I've prompted it, attached as a construction tender, I'm preparing the estimate and need your help. Can you please summarize the tender documents into concise dot points detailing everything that impacts pricing? Now, this is a small tender, but often, as we know, we sometimes get construction tenders with 30, 40 documents thousands and thousands of pages. So reviewing them all manually, it just isn't feasible during tender timeframes. So this is an example where I've just asked it to analyze the tender documents and summarize the key pricing impacts. It summarized the supply requirements, labor and expertise costs, testing and commissioning. We have to do insulation resistance testing, partial discharge testing, VLF testing, quality and compliance. We need a 40 year design life. We need a 24 month warranty. So rather than having to go through all these documents manually, it's produced a concise summary that we can refer to. Next, I've asked it, can you prepare a budget estimate for this project? So based on the context, the tender documents, I've simply asked it to prepare an estimate and it's gone through and it's broken down the entire project into material supply, earthing and bonding, safety and environmental, all our labor costs. We need a project manager for 320 hours and we could assess and check all these and we'd probably have to give it some feedback and iterate through to improve this. You can see it's actually gone ahead and produced us a complete cost estimate based on that single prompt. The next thing we can use these large language models for in AI tools is for scheduling. And when I was researching this video, I was actually a bit shocked at how incredibly powerful these tools are at schedule. So based on simple prompts, like ba based on the attached project scope, create a work breakdown structure, group it into design, construction, and commissioning, link the activities, put it into a format you can export to Microsoft project or just the generated Gantt chart. Claude actually went and generated a fully interactive clickable Gantt chart. Based on this simple prompt, can you create a project schedule and Gantt chart for this project? Again, I'm previously given it the project context when I asked it to prepare the estimate. Claude went and created a fully clickable and interactive Gantt chart, a detailed project schedule based on our eight week duration, start and finish date, a breakdown of all the different activities, the resources required for them, and this Gantt chart showing what's happening in each week and also what the critical path is. Again, we could prompt it, we could iterate through this and improve the output, but based on that single prompt, in a matter of seconds, it produced this, which I think is absolutely amazing. Next, we've got a site diary. Now, this is more of an automation rather than strictly artificial intelligence, but I built in about 30 minutes, a simple automation using Airtable with a couple of different databases and tables and a form to collect information and effectively recreated a simple site diary where you can enter what work was done each day, the weather, upload photos, and record all your progress quantities, your labor hours used, all your timesheets. And it took me about 30 minutes to prepare. If you're not familiar, Airtable is like Microsoft Excel on steroids. It's a web-based app that effectively allows you to create different data sets and then to link them to forms and interfaces as well as integrate some integrations. It's just much easier to use than Excel for this type of work. It allows really easy linkages between data tables without complex VLOOKUP formulas. So this site diary, all it really is, is a form which the user can fill out. So this is the site diary form. You enter the date, the status, supervisor, weather, who the met different members of your crew are, what work they've done, what cost code they were working under. So, and then the quantity of work completed. It stores all this in a series of databases. So we've got 
the site diaries, all the labor hours tracked, all the quantities of work recorded, and then it sums this against each of our cost codes. So we might have a cost code for site excavation that has a budget quantity of 500 meters cubed and 200 budgeted hours. And each day when people log their timesheets, it tracks the hours worked against each cost code, the quantity completed, and then it reports the quantities logged in quantities. So the percentage complete of quantities and a percentage complete of hours used. Now I built this in about 30 minutes, maybe even a bit less. And I put it into a simple interface where users can just see for each of our cost codes, it reports on these budgeted quantities, the percentage complete, the total quantity of work, the total quantity logged and the total hours. It's super simple. You could add some much more fancy visualizations. You could track which diaries are completed, what days they're open, who needs to review them. If you put a little bit more effort into it, but you can very simply and quickly build these tools that a lot of the big construction management software companies charge $50,000 a year for. Another use of AI that is incredibly powerful. If you ever spent hours tracking through your email inbox, trying to look for that email where your client told you to do something or a subcontractor read something with you. Again, using Airtable, you can set up a simple correspondence tracking sheet where all your emails for a project, you just set up a project email address that's stored and recorded in Airtable, basically giving you a searchable database of all the project correspondence. Again, some of the construction management softwares charge five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars a year for tools like this that you can literally build in 20 or 30 minutes. The next use case, which is probably the most obvious one, is that with these generative AI tools that are designed for generating new information, you can use AI to prepare your inspection and test plans, inspection and test check sheets, your safe work method statements, your schedules, as we've already seen, or your project management plans. The massive caveat I'm gonna give is that you need to review these incredibly carefully. You can get a little bit lulled into the trap of thinking how confident and powerful they are, but these models do hallucinate. And I've definitely seen some very simple, hard to believe mistakes that they do generate. So you just always need, they, they'll probably do a good job 99% of the time, 95% of the time. You just have to be very careful about checking the output, particularly if it's critical, it's got safety implications, it's got cost implications, or it's sending, you're sending it to your client. Again, if you're using the tool, the liability rests with you. The next tool we can use these for as construction managers is contract reviews. So even the simplest construction contracts are often hundreds of pages long, contain 20 different attachments. At the end of the day, these contracts aren't actually meant to be user-friendly or easy to use. They're meant to be bulletproof. So AI processing, getting them to summarize these documents, getting them to review them against the key clauses is an incredibly practical and easy to use application of these. It can save you a lot of time doing it yourself or having to pay a lawyer to do it for you. The next way we can use AI as construction contractors and managers is to basically learn new concepts. One of the biggest challenges in construction is even if you're building a simple building, there's so many different technical concepts you'll need to understand. You need to understand civil engineering, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, you'll need to understand different codes and standards. You'll run into difficult faults or complex technical issues. Use AI as an enhanced Google search to teach you new concepts very quickly. Use prompts like, I have no technical experience, explain this to me very simply. And then you can quickly understand complicated concepts in electrical engineering, civil engineering. For me personally, I'm an electrical engineer, but I've done a lot of concrete and civil construction. And I've found AI so useful at understanding drawings, putting in screenshots of different drawings or details I don't understand and getting it to explain it to me simply. The next use case that I've been playing around with a lot recently is getting AI to play the devil's advocate. What I mean by this is basically using it to stress test your assumptions or the work you've created. Say for example, you're submitting a variation to your client. You wanna claim extra money for a delay that they've caused. You can use AI to help basically take on the role of your client and ask it to pull apart the variation and be hypercritical of it. And then rather than having to go through that with your client, go through it with the AI first, 
make the improvements before you submit it to your client. And as an extension to this, you can actually use AI to review your work. Think of it like some sort of universal spell checker that you can take out of Microsoft Word. For example, you could prepare your construction estimate in Excel, do it yourself, simply upload it into AI, ChatGPT or Claude and ask it to do a comprehensive assessment of your estimate to identify any gaps, make sure it aligns with the scope, identify if you've got any calculation errors. So there you go. There are 10 super simple, quick and effective ways you can start using AI today.